So we're here for the Television Academy Foundation. Right. Uh, what is your most uh, fond memory of television being either a part of it or just like growing up with you? So when I grew up, I was raised by uh, almost wannabe uh, communists. Um, so we didn't have TV growing up. So whenever I watch TV when I was a kid, I'm 56. So we were, we, my brothers and I and my sister would sneak off and watch things like F Troop and bewitched and I really grew up more with records of comedians and Lenny Bruce and Bob Newhart so I didn't really grow up with a lot of TV but when we did we were just watching like crazy crazy addicts um, but when I was in college we were watching stuff like All in the Family and we were watching MASH you know it's kind of crazy to me to think that the biggest TV star of the late 70s was Alan Alda on MASH. I mean, without a doubt, right? But because of the mores that existed back in the day, he couldn't become a film star. It was like, you're TV trash, you can't do it. Nowadays, it's exactly flipped, right? You can't be in movies unless they go, where do we, oh, you're in Game of Thrones. You're awesome. Or you're George Clooney, you're in ER. That's awesome. Not that they're the same actors or the same people, but... It is wild to think how big a star, in terms of film, Alan Alda did some films, some really great films, but nothing compared to what he would have been if he had had the star quality back in the day, if, if that ex-studio point of view wasn't imposed upon him. You know, it's kind of crazy. But uh, I loved, like, MASH to me was the best television out there, and All in the Family, too. How about you? There's been so much TV, especially now. Yeah. yeah. But uh, so, what do you think of kind of like message TV? Because MASH was ultimately a show about war, but more the consequences of war and not glorifying it. And then. Well, yeah, I was using. I mean, MASH, obviously, what they did there was to set up Larry Gelbart, who created the show, was anti Vietnam. I mean, they used Korea as the back setting, but it was all a very clear anti Vietnam message. You know, On the Family, it, to me, had a message, right? Because it was a, had a, always had a social agenda. In our show, I do a show called Blackish on ABC, and Kenya Barris, who created the show, he really was inspired by Norman Lear. And we do shows that have comedic elements, but they're about police brutality, about the N-word, about spanking, about uh, um, postpartum depression. So, and that's, you know, I mean... Those are great, sho huge shoes to follow, Norman Lear. But I think our show, at its very best, does that. Uses laughter to make fun of itself, to make fun of other people, and to make you smile. But at the same time, as Kenya says, every show he hopes to provoke, uh, people start asking questions. Like, why? Well, well what, is, what is wrong with kneeling before a, a football game? What is the question we're asking? What are we, are we disrespecting something? What does the flag really represent? Does it just represent the military? No, it represents everything. It represents all parts of us. And we all have a right to honor it in our own particular way. So, um, yeah, I would say that's, a, you know, our show can be just kind of a Halloween episode. We're having, you know, just fun in a sitcom. But it, at its best, we, we, we try to do that to kind of poke the bear a little bit, you know, because it needs to be poked. <laughs> Marseille Martin and... Dion Cole's whole thing just it's kills crazy, me. Right? It's crazy great. Yeah, they're crazy. Um, what was it? Was the I guess the second episode we did, the whole show ended with her thank you note to him saying, Now I know where you live and Dion just <laughs> <laughs> That was that was good. Uh, and then so do you know who you're golfing with today? I don't. I don't. It's kind of a mystery. It's a blind date. This is how I uh, meet people outside of my marriage. I just go to this kind of events. <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, Steve, the guy who organized it, Steve said uh, something about the accountants, either for the Academy or for, I'm not sure who. Maybe just like everyone that looks like an accountant on a TV I show. I look like an accountant. Every time I take a red carpet, people go, who the fuck are you, dude? Well, you look like somebody, you do the caterer or something? Were you the guy that, that uh, took a selfie with the, uh, behind uh, the Academy Awards that messed up the whole thing? No, no that was not me. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 nice to have these like mixers for for actors to be able to like go out and play golf, but also it's for a charity as well. It is. It's always. I mean, the, to raise money to be able to use whatever Ursa minus star power we have, 
to do it is fabulous and you get to play golf but also for us we're like nomads you know i remember years ago i did a movie with susan serendon she said you know the thing about actors is you get to know each other by working on a project with great intimacy we're playing brother sister we're playing lovers we're playing you know whatever it is and then you just disappear and you could not see each other at, at usually when it's like you know the award events which hollywood loves to do is celebrate itself that's like oh dude hey we have the thing awesome good to see you and you're like kind of madly kind of connecting again because it's rare to because if you're working you're real busy it's like dude i'd love to hang but i can i'm in arkansas which are good problems but so events like this like i get to see said uh you know the who i did a pilot with years ago and that's awesome and, and pat finn and all these people that i joel murray and all these people that i really love and this is just a great excuse to like you said raise money hit an event and also hang out with some of your pals you know yeah so alcohol yeah i mean it's golf hello <laughs> it improves with alcohol yeah exactly who cares about those uh, those back nine <laughs> nice